Hello, welcome back to Animated Literacy. This is lesson number 43 from the Story, Song, and Action book. In our last lesson, we learned about Lizzie Lamb and how she likes to leave her flock of sheep, find a nice lemon tree, and lay down on lemon leaves and take a long, lazy nap. So, show me your lemon leaf by putting your hands together like this. Put your head on your hands and go, Oh! Now, if we use Lizzie Lamb sound in our little puppy song, it's going to sound like this. Sing after me. Little puppy, he says, woof, woof, woof. Your turn. Little puppy, he says, woof, woof, woof. Lizzie's puppy, he says, luff, luff, luff. Lizzie's puppy, he says, luff, luff, luff. Let's try some other sounds in there. What about Kimmy Kangaroo? Show me blowing kisses. K. Little kitten, she says meow, meow, meow. Kimmy's kitten, she says, what's Kimmy's kitten going to say? Kiao, 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 kiao. What kind of sound is that? Consonant. How did you know that? Because you just didn't go k. You had to put something with it because it doesn't stand alone. So consonants don't stand alone. Let's try another one. Let's try Ollie Ostrich. Little kitten, she says meow, meow, meow. Your turn. Little kitten, she says meow, meow, meow. Ollie's kitten, she says ah, ah, ah. Ollie's kitten, she says ah, ah, ah. What kind of sound is that? Vowel. And how did you know that? Because our vowels, just like in the song, Are You Sleeping? Our vowels stand alone. So today, we're going to be doing some more drawing and labeling. It's getting to be a lot of fun because we're getting more and more sounds. And now when you look at our chart, you can see that the top row only has one black and white picture left. We know all of the other sounds in our top row. We know most of the sounds in this row and quite a few sounds in this row. So it's only down at the bottom of our chart that we still have a lot of sounds we don't know. Now, the more sounds we know, the more words we make, and the more words we make, the more fun we can have playing with those words. So, I mentioned last time that before I do my drawing and labeling with you, I practice. And so this is something I practice today. Now, we probably won't have time to draw this many things, but we'll still put all of these up on our chart, on our word wall, because these are all things that you can draw and label with just the sounds that we know the characters and songs for so far. And so you can go back and, and get out your drawing book if you made a copy of this. Turn to the page that has whatever you want to draw on it. And then you can look at the steps and try some on your own. So you can do some drawing with me, but you can do drawing all by yourself as well. So. Today we're going to be drawing Lizzie Lamb, and we're going to be drawing something that goes with Lizzie Lamb. So when I was doing this one, um, I got a little bit stuck. I was trying to think of something that rhymes with lamb and having a hard time. So I went to my rhyming dictionary and I looked up am, because that's the rhyme in lamb, to see what we could draw. And one of the things that I found that we could draw is called a tram. And so I wanted to see what a tram looks like so I'd know how to draw it. So I did some more hunting and I found all these pictures of trams. And I found that some trams are up in the sky. And so these are called an aerial tram or a sky tram. And some trams are down on the ground like this one. And sometimes those are called a streetcar or a trolley. And here's some other shapes of trams and these would be down on the ground as well and this one's kind of neat because you can choose whether you want to ride outside or inside so if it's raining and snowing you might want to be up here but if the sun's out you might want to be back here this tram everybody rides outside so I wouldn't want to be on that one on a snowy rainy day some trams are double deckers because you've got people riding here and people riding up on top. This one, if it's snowing and raining, you can be down here and stay warm and dry. But if the sun's out, you can go up here and enjoy the fresh air. This tram 
is also a double-decker, but everybody's inside on that tram. This one I thought was kind of fun. It almost looks like it's out of the movie Cars. Um, but this is a tram. And this is a very modern tram. So the trams that they make today look different than the trams that they made a long time ago. So we're going to draw a picture of a lamb and a tram today. So let's get out our paper. Get out your pen. On the count of three, take your cap off. One, two, three. Three, turn the pen around, put it on the other end. One, two, three. Show me when you're ready to draw a lamb. So for our lamb, we're gonna start with two circles for eyes. So draw your two circles. And we're gonna put a pupil. My lamb's looking down, but yours can look up or to the side or wherever you want your lamb to be looking. Now I'm gonna come down between the two eyes that I drew, and I'm going to draw two smaller circles for the nose. And these are closer together. So now it looks like that. Now I'm going to take, and I'm going to go from the middle of the two circles, and I'm going to curve up and to the inside of the eye, like that. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to come down and curve up to the inside of the eye. Now I'm gonna make the cheeks. This time, I'm gonna go from the eye, right straight down, and connect there. Then I'm gonna go from this eye, straight down, and connect here. Show me when you're ready for the lamb's tongue. Here the tongue can be sticking out now. Show me when you're ready for the lamb's head. First, I'm going to make some kind of wavy lines like this because I want to make it look very furry. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to come just like we did when we were drawing mom. Make lots of fluffy wool coming around. Now we're going to make the lamb's body. So again, I want it to be lots of fluffy wool. So I'm going to start here underneath the head and I'm going to come way down then I'm going to come across and go right past the head over to here then I'm going to come back here and then come down and connect so there's the lamb's body how about the lamb's legs so I'm going to make two lines down and lambs have hooves so I'm going to put a line at the bottom and a line there so it looks like a hoof. Then I'll make another rectangle coming down and add a line for a hoof. And you can put a little line across the top if you like there. Okay, show me when you're ready for the back legs. I'm going to come over here and just like I did for the front legs, come down and put a line in the middle. And then I'll come here, make another rectangle with a line in the middle. Now how many la legs does our lamb have? Four. How about the lamb's tail? I can just come around like this and give our lamb a fluffy looking tail. Now we, our lamb needs some ears so it can hear. So I'm going to come here and give it an ear coming out this way. And come here. I'm giving an ear coming out this way. Now, what did we draw a picture of? Lamb. Show me the first sound you hear in lamb. L. How do we spell that? L for laying on lemon leaves. What's the next sound you hear in lamb? Lamb. Ah, for adding. How does actress Annie spell that? With an A. Show me the next sound you hear in lamb. Lamb. What's Mimi Mermaid's letter? M, straight down and up with two humps. Now, lamb has a special way to spell Mimi Mermaid sound because it has a B at the end of it. For a B, we just make a straight line down, and then put your little circle after it. So, one way to spell M 
is with an M, what we do most of the time, but every once in a while we give it a spe an extra B at the end, and that's what we do for the word lamb. What word did I find that rhymes with lamb? Tram rhymes with lamb. So I looked at all those different trams, figure out how we're going to draw a tram. So the first thing, a tram travels on tracks just like a train does. So we're going to make the train tracks. So I'm going to come here and make a straight line across my page. Then I'm going to go below it or above it, whichever you like, and make another line parallel and close to it. Now a lot of trains tracks are laid on top of pe rectangular pieces of wood called railroad ties. And when you look at the edges of them, they kind of look like this. So we're going to make some little rectangles for the railroad tries, ties that the tracks are laid on. Some are not made this way. Some are just made right into the street. And that's why some trams are called streetcars because they travel on the railroad tracks the street. Now we're going to start our tram. So first trams have wheels, so we're going to give it some wheels. I'm going to make two circles here close together, like this. Then I'm going to come to the other end and make two circles like this. So there's the wheels for my tram. Now we're going to make the bottom of the tram, so I'm going to connect those circles like that and then make another line coming out. So I've got a line coming out on each side. Now we need to make the car that the people travel in. So I'm going to make a line up like this, a line up like this, and then I'm going to connect those two lines like so. Now we need a door for the people to get into the tram. So I'm going to make a straight line down, a straight line down, and then put a line in the middle so the door can open. Now we need windows for people to look out the tram. So I'm going to start halfway up here, make a line that stops at the doors, then skip over the top of the doors, and make a line to the other side. Now you can decide how many windows you want, and you can divide that part. I made three windows on that side, and I'll make three over on this side. Now that kind of looks like a bus. Now we want it to look like a tram, not a bus. So we need a roof. So let's come out a little bit on each side. Then I'm going to curve up a little. Curve up a little on this side. Then I'm going to connect those two curves. Now a tram runs on electricity and the wires up, uh, are up above the tram and it has to have something connected to those wires so that it can get its power from the electricity. So we're going to make something here so that our tram can get power. So I'm going to make two little angle lines that way and I'm going to connect those two angle lines and now I need something to go up to the to the wire so that it can get its electricity. So I'm going to come with an angle line like this, and like so, and then repeat it over here. So I'm going to make an angle line like this, and like this, and now we need the wire to connect that to. So here's my wire coming along and out this side, and out this side. So there's a picture of what? A tram. Show me the first sound you hear in the word tram. Go tram, tram. What do you hear first? T, T for tickling. What's the next sound you hear in tram? Tram, tram, rrr, for Rosie Raccoon. What's her letter? An R, so a straight line and a little hook for our R. What's the next sound? Tra. Ah, A for adding. And what's the last sound in tram? Tram. Mm, for moving your 
magic mop. Now I can put the word tram inside a circle and tie the string to the tram. Oh, well, hunting we will go, hunting we will go. We'll catch a lamb, put it in a tram, and then we'll let it go. So you can put that into a hunting we will go. Now, as I showed you, there's a whole lot of things that you can draw um, that I practiced drawing before the lesson. And, and as I said, we wouldn't have time for all of them, but we can do at least one more. Let's see what we're going to draw next. Everybody put an O on your page with a circle. Put a G after that. So now we have the rhyme of our word. What does that say? Og. And remember the rhyme of a word starts with a vowel and then it's everything that comes after it. Now we need to see what this rhyme starts with. Put an L. And what's our sound for L? L. Now let's see if we can figure out what we're going to draw. Log. Log. What are we going to draw? A picture of a log. So let's put our circle around log. Now I brought with me something that looks kind of like a log today. And when you look at the end, every time a tree grows for a year, it adds a ring. So we can see how many years old this log is. I'm going to put a circle, put a circle inside that circle, and I'll put another circle outside. So how many rings does it have? One, two, three. So my log's going to be how old? Three years old. Now we can draw a line here. I'll go all of, I think I'll just go all the way to the edge of my paper. Another line here, and then a curve at the end. And then I'm going to put some lines for the bark. And what's that a picture of? A log. Now what could you put on your log that rhymes? We've already done those together. So on my log that I practiced here, I put a picture of a dog and a frog on my log. Then I drew some other things. I also drew a picture of a doll with a ball, and I drew a picture of a lock on a block and a clock on top of the block. So those are some ideas of things that you might draw by yourself at, or you can get your teacher or your parent to help you and you can look at the drawing book to see how to go about drawing those. Then you can add some color words and then draw and then color your picture, the words that you add. So now let's see where we can put our words today. Let's go back and let's practice the barnyard song or the cat song. So, and that one started out with, I had a cat and the cat pleased me. I fed my cat by yonder tree. Cat goes fiddle I fee, fiddle dee dee. What if we have a pup? Where could we feed our pup? I had a pup and the pup pleased me. I fed my pup by yonder cup. Pup goes bow wow, bow wow. Cat goes fiddle I fee, fiddle dee dee. Now I drop these down on the floor here. Let's see what we've got here that we can put in. What's this? Here's a fish. And what do we have that rhymes with fish? I had a fish and the fish pleased me. I fed my fish by yonder dish. Fish goes blub, 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 blub. Cat goes fiddle I fee, fiddle dee dee. Let's try that along with our tape recording this time. I had a cat and the cat pleased me. I fed my cat by yonder tree. Cat goes fiddle I fee, fiddle dee dee. I had a pup and the pup pleased me. I fed my pup by yonder cup. Pup goes bow wow, bow wow. Cat goes fiddle-eye-fee, fiddle dee dee What's the fish do? I had a fish and the fish pleased me I fed my fish by yonder dish Fish goes blub 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 Cat goes fiddle-eye-fee, fiddle dee dee I had a mouse and a mouse pleased me I fed my mouse by yonder 
So how can we do that now with our lamb and our tram? So let me get a picture of the tram here. I had a lamb and the lamb pleased me. I fed my lamb by yonder tram. Lamb goes, what does the lamb say? Ba, 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 ba. Cat goes, fiddle I fee, fiddle dee dee. And so now we've written those words. So if you have the frame for that, you can finish that back at your seats and then you can put your pages into a book and add your lamb by your pram. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson today and learning about trams and and learning how to draw a picture of a lamb and of a tram and of a log and you can go back as I said and and draw a dog and put it on your log and a frog on your log and then if you go further you can put your lock on a block and a clock on a block and draw a picture of a doll with a ball and those all use the sounds that we have learned the character in the song for. So thank you for joining me and I hope to see you in our next lesson when we'll learn a new character and then we can learn how to draw and play with even more words and sounds.